now at 5. If you're looking for a new job, Fort Wayne might be the place to start. Good evening. The Milken Institute has released a study measuring the job growth performance of 200 cities. Fort Wayne did well when compared to other cities in Indiana. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday is here with where the city ranks and what it means. Lamar? Mark and Heather, the survey was based on job growth between May 2011 and May 2012. Fort Wayne placed 13th in this category, outranking cities like Evansville and even Indianapolis. It's been a bumpy ride for our nation's economy. Experts say slowly we're making progress. But locally, there's been a significant boost in what's going on in our backyard. It's an affirmation that we've come out of uh, the Great Recession in terms of job recovery, job growth, relatively strong compared to a number of other metropolitan areas. The Milken Institute is an independent research organization that looks into a few factors in growing local economies. Things like stable and expanding employment, wages and salary increases, and thriving economies and businesses. It's really, really good when Milliken or others from an outside look inside and say, look at the progress that they're making. John Sampson says this is why the Northeast Indiana Regional Partnership was formed. Looking at the region, Allen, Whitley, and Wells counties played a factor in the area's growth, and this is how Fort Wayne plays statewide, doing better than Indianapolis, Evansville, and South Bend. These employers see that we're trying to do what's necessary to assure that they have a long-term pipeline to be successful here, and that sends strong messages not only internal to current employers, but externally. They, you know, other employers want to be a part of that. But even with the good news, experts say there's still plenty of room for improvement. We need to continue to work on things like upgrading our, uh, the quality of our workforce, um, continue to work with our local uh, companies to help them when there are opportunities uh, for them to expand. Now, how far has the Summit City come since this report was first released nearly 10 years ago? I'll let you know that tonight at 6. Live at Studio 15 tonight, Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15.